Hello, and welcome to Questions on Tap. Today, we have something a little bit different. Mark and I were recently able to meet up in person, and we had a live recording session for a couple of hours. From that session, we were able to get multiple different discussion topics, which we will separate out into different podcast episodes. Today, we're discussing capital punishment. This is a complex topic, and we couldn't get into all of the nuances, but it was a natural follow-up to the last episode, which you can listen to, to wherever you get your podcasts. It's complicated and it's hard, but we think it was a worthwhile discussion. I hope you enjoy this episode and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Enjoy. Okay. So death penalty. Okay. What, why you see you have made the point that the government system is imperfect, which you and I both agree on. And because of that, the death penalty is wrong. Yes. Do you think that if the government, if you could guarantee that there weren't biases and stuff like that. And that the worst of the worst who actually committed crimes. Like, like if you could guarantee that they did yeah. the crime that they committed and the court decided yeah. that the death penalty was the thing that you could do. Yes. You think that's okay? Yes. Why? So I think there's actually two, ha- two reasons. How's um, that different from murder? I think there's I think there's two different things for me that make the death penalty like the the way that I think about it. So outside of yeah, outside of the judicial system and the imperfections, you know, it's it's better than a lot of places, but you can't say it's perfect. I don't think anyone would try to argue. No, that. and there are people who've been on death row that have been found to be innocent years. Exactly, and that's what kind of like worries me about the whole yeah. system. But um, I don't know. I think I think there are some people that have committed such heinous acts that. To me, and it's hard because it's really hard to justify. You know, it's hard. Like I can say that I think it's right, or that I that I don't think it's wrong. I don't think it's right. I think that's the difference. Like I wouldn't say you know it's always the best option, but I think there's some people. If you've killed a lot of people, I don't know why you deserve to live, and they don't. That is what's hard for me. Yeah. No, I think that's I, I obviously emotionally I would say I completely agree. yeah like yeah. on an emotional level I agree with you yeah. Actually, like, especially, like, if you talk to the people who have suffered at the oh hands my God. of, like, yeah. serial killers, like, I know if that happened to me, no, fuck no. Like, oh, I, I, don't, I don't give man, a Man, I could not imagine the fury I would have for that person. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So I think it's a totally understandable way to look at it. So I guess to kind of clarify, are you saying that there is a line, and I'm not asking you to define the line yet, but we'll get there. Yeah, we'll but, see. We'll see. But are you saying that... At some point, it is beneficial for society. Like, is that your argument that it's for society's benefit, or you think it's because the person deserves it? I honestly think it's well, partially it's for society's benefit because keeping somebody in jail for a long time is really expensive, mm-hmm. and I don't think somebody should pour in a bunch of money to keep a mass murderer alive. Okay. To me, that just doesn't seem fair. Granted, you know, life's not fair, but to me, that doesn't seem morally right. Okay. Why? Also, like, we're going to ignore... Like, so what if I told you that the death penalty is actually more expensive than jail time for life? I've heard different takes on that. Um, I would love to see the source. Because um, I know I, I have read similar things to yeah. that. But more expensive, I'd like to know about the resources pulled in. I have varying opinions on the American jail system. I think it could use a lot of improvement. So I think that's probably one of the things that it's not just about the money, but just the system as a whole. Um, and also if someone's going to stay in jail for the rest of their lives, they're not going to ever add anything to society. Um, I wouldn't say that. That's, no, that's not true. There, I wouldn't the, say that. People in jail, you're right. There's like... There are people in prison who have had opportunities to do schooling yes. and learn and they can help other people in the prison and they also can work on projects that end up helping yeah. people. No, that's true. And I guess, again, like, to be clear for the podcast, there are exploitive means that are used. For people yeah, no, and I guess we're not, I'm more we're not of, talking about that, but people on a voluntary basis can choose to do good things even when inside jail yes, or prison. Yes. That, no, I'm not, sorry, yeah, I'm not denying that. I think, I wish it was more of like, to me, it's not as much of a rehabilitation system as I would want it to be. Oh, I agree, 100%. 100%. And so that's where, like, the, yeah, the idea of, like, just putting someone in prison for life. Honestly, if I was in that position, I would rather just die than spend the next 60 years of my life in a prison. So okay. maybe that's part of it, is that sure. for me, if I was in that position, which I, do not, I will never be in. I don't know if I'd want to just spend six years behind bars. All right, so we're talking in the ideal that the government can make a right, a righteous decision here. 
Yeah, if they, yeah. Uh, I, righteous is, but to know who committed a, a that, that they can yeah. know for sure. So that's an ideal world. Yeah. So of course. All right. In this ideal world, let's say the prison is a rehabilitation system, where even where even if it's for life, you can still contribute to society in some ways. You still have maybe more freedoms than we do now. Yeah. It's it's not. It doesn't. You know, like people are treated like human beings. Yeah. All right, what about in that situation? Ignoring yeah. like how bad the prison system is. No, that's that's a good point. Um, is it still? Beneficial? I think if you've chosen to live in a society long enough for eighteen years, if you're like, um, and you've made the choice after living for a long time to kill a lot of other people, I think you've made a choice that you are not going to add value to society. I think at that point you kind of know what you're doing. Enough that I know a lot of people who have done terrible things. There's, you know, mental issues and things like that. It's a whole other side of, but yeah, I, I think you've made your choice. Okay. So what about as cheesy as it is? What about redemption? Is there not? Is there? I don't, are I don't, you I saying don't, there's a point where you're irredeemable? Yes. I yes. think that's where you and I fundamentally would disagree. Oh, one hundred percent. I would already. I I know that you would think that's false. Yeah, I, I yeah. think because where I'm coming from is that. There is no point in a person's life where that person can't be redeemed. What I will say is that evil acts certainly whittle you down as a person. I think there's no point. I think there are things you can do that you don't deserve to have the chance to be redeemed. And I would, I think I would disagree. I think everyone will deserve. I would not say anyone deserves the chance to be redeemed. But I would say that everyone does. And that is... I Wait, ever. Let me rephrase it. It is not humanity's choice to decide whether or not someone deserves to be redeemed. I think inherently everyone does have the chance to be redeemed. Okay. Like, it's not a matter of deciding if you deserve it. Yeah. In my mind, it's a matter of you can be. And so because of that, it is our moral duty to try and do that. Yeah. That does not mean that I would release a serial murder out in public after six years or something like that. Okay. I don't think that's for societal good either. Okay. But allowing, again, an, an ideal prison system to do its work, if it was truly trying to rehabilitate people, that is a more moral outcome. But I think the no idea one, there's of no being p- able to rehabilitate people is to let them back into society. Not necessarily. But I think a lot, I think most prison systems right now that are set up in rehabilitative ways without like the constant, I get, yeah, without, I don't know what I'm trying to say. The, that a lot of systems that are set up in rehabilitative ways are meant to put the people back into society to be able to add value again. Okay, sure. So I guess here, here's what I would say. Yeah, in, yeah. in that situation, if you can be if you can be redeemed plus rehabilitated, where you can say that, that this person can go back into society and be be a moral person, yeah. then may, yeah, maybe you do release them. Yeah, no, I, I don't think... But no, no, I mean, I would say, again, the way I look at this is, yeah. is I think there are ways you can be redeemed and rehabilitated and still give back to society without leaving prison. Like, okay, in a yeah. sense, I do think you have forfeited your freedom. Okay. Because, like, there are, again, there are pu- there are punishments and there yeah. are crimes and there are punishments that fit the crimes. And I think that there is a total, there should be a spectrum of punishments for different crimes. Like, for example, shoplifting is different than being a serial murderer. And there's tons of things in between. (laughs) Yeah, I I would, I would agree with that. And so I would totally, again, so like in this extreme scenario where this person has like killed a lot of people. Yeah. What is a lot? I don't know. Neither do I. Like where would we draw that line? I don't think we have an answer for that. No, you can ask. I don't have an answer. Um, But whatever that is. Yeah, I, I think, like, I would actually, like, I would say, like, the 9-11 people, do I think that the people who took the planes yeah. deserve to be set back, if they could have somehow survived that, that they could should be left out, be set out to go back in society? Yeah. No. 100% no. hmm I wouldn't kill them. Okay. It's kind of how I look at it. Yeah. Like, I think killing them is taking something into our hands that isn't our own. Again, I keep harping on this idea that, like... But it, to me, it's like they've taken something into their hands that wasn't theirs. Granted, I don't think two wrongs make a right. I should... And also, it's Except, funny. I'm thinking about this a lot as, you know, I'm answering these questions. I would be totally lying if I didn't say this was probably mostly an emotional decision. I don't think I can truly logic out 
why I think it makes it okay. But I think there's some part of me that can't stand to see, you know, especially if I was in the situation where I was directly affected. Oh, hundred percent. Man, I could never stand to think about that person living with the people I care about dying. I think that's honestly it's probably more emotional than I'm making it sound. No, and I don't know again, I don't know I mean clearly on an emotional level, I agree with you. Yeah. I think the journey in my mind of being like a moral human is not just stopping there. No, it's not. Um, but I don't, there's been like, yeah, I feel like I can think about some people throughout history that I would say deserve to die for the acts that they have committed. On an emotional level, I do too. I can think of, no, I'm, I guess I'm saying that from a logical standpoint as well, that in my head, I don't know if I can describe why I'm like trying to think about it. And maybe that means it's not logical. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. But I I can't, I guess I should say this, I can't reason out why I think they should be able to live. Okay. That might be a little bit different as I'm kind of going into this. 